You guys remember that time we took that impromptu trip to Garner State Park for my birthday and we climbed the highest peak at Garner? Well, if you don't, this should refresh your memory. Yep, it looks like a man's butt. And we got a new driver. I think she's doing great. Can you build it? You know, our family is no stranger to taking trips like this. We've been going to state parks and national parks since before Lily could walk. One thing that is a little bit new to us is doing it in this format and recording things. So the camera might be a little awkward for us, but I think we'll get used to it. I'm not really sure what the reaction is going to be to this when I bring a, mic a camera in here with a fuzzy microphone on it, but it's either going to be scowling or they're not going to do anything. Raise a glass, you've made it another you already got a camera off on that thing? Yeah. Wow, look at that. See, and I don't want you taking any videos of me if I don't have on makeup. It's got a makeup generating no, feature on it. Not. Yeah. When I edit it, I can add makeup on it. And you can, there's filters, there's filters on it and all this other stuff. We got to our friends the Sawyer's house the night before my birthday, and my wife Kinsey had a pretty special gift for me. You see, in June, we're going to be taking a trip to the Mighty Five in Utah, and she got us all matching shirts. It's going to be awesome. Epic summer, saw your bird, 22. Oh, nice. And does everyone have the shirts? best part is <laughs> you get a shirt. You get a shirt. You get a shirt. Everybody gets a shirt. You get a shirt. You get a shirt. And you get a shirt. Oh, how cool. We're going to wear them every day on the trip. No problem. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's del oh that it's delicate arch on it. You see that? You're too. These things are gonna stink by the end of the trip. They're gonna wear every day. Yeah. Right. It looks like. I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. It looks like what? It looks like a man's butt. And I think he's standing there going. <laughs> we should wear these when we go to Delicate Arts. No, 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 no. the shirt. Of the place that you're going. Is that like wearing the, the yeah. shirt of the band that you're going to see? Yeah. I'm wearing my Delicate Art shirt when we go to Delicate Art. Don't look at the camera. You're That's supposed weird. to look right at the lens. If you don't look at the lens. I know, I don't have TikTok. I got the best wife, y'all. Well, you can thank Jason because he helped me with that. I'm not going to thank Jason. I don't know who Jason is. <laughs> So one of the things I like about staying at Kate and Andy's house before we go to Garner State Park is they only live two hours away from the park and it makes for such an easy drive going in. It gives us a lot more time to explore the park and swim and hike while we're there. So we really appreciate them letting us stay there and their house is beautiful by the way.
trip to Garner State Park usually includes a hike to the top of Old Baldy. We've done that many, many times and we love it. We like going to Old Baldy, we like going to Painted Rock. We've even visited Icebox Caverns. But I was looking at a map and I found out that, that Baldy is not the highest point in Garner State Park. Shady Oaks is. So this time we took a hike to the highest point in Garner State Park. You were is lodge in the hotel room. You ran up there. I remember because I was listening to uh, that one audio book. It took me four hours to find that. So maybe we'll get it. <laughs> Can you get, is that a wide enough view for you? Well, Can you get all of us in it? Have it uh, down. I didn't have it. All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. But I got a shot of a dumpster. Turns out this fishing shirt also works as a hiking shirt, Kate. I'm starting to suspect it's probably just a pretty good shirt all around. You just don't have to wear it. Fishing for it to work. Yeah, this is a crappy trail. Hmm. Let's say yours has a hood. Already calling it Shady Oak. favorite swimming holes on the Frio River. It's got a small little waterfall that turns into like a little jacuzzi tub and then there's some pools just above the waterfall that are perfect for just sitting in and soaking and relaxing and it was a warm day while we were there even in early April. I think the temperature hit 90 degrees so we were really thankful to get in the Frio and cool off. Get there. That's what you do here at Garner. You get cold in the Frio. 
I mean, Frio's kind of Espanol for cold. Espanol for shivers. Yeah. You know, we've been going to Garner State Park in the Frio River for many years. In fact, our kids have basically grown up there. It has been awesome to watch them do things that Texas kids have done for over 80 years at this park. And of course, the highlight of the trip is just playing in the Frio. <laughs> Go! Three, two, one! 